Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey guys, now follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews and Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. Links in the description below. You are f Oh hey, it's Clint Eastwood. I'm your huckleberry. I have two guns. One for each of you. I'm afraid the strain was more than he could bear. You suck. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Transformers figure from Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures, and it's Wild Wheel. Now, I don't know too much about this character. I'm pretty sure he's been on the show. He is a Decepticon outlaw, which it's basically a robot cowboy, and I find that ridiculously awesome. It says he's got Energon power, it looks like. Um, it's voice activated, so if it hears something, it looks like it's going to glow. It's it's what the play gimmick kind of looks like at first glance, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Wild Wheel in the package, and uh, it looks pretty cool. Now, I got him at my local Target, and uh, I, this is the only place I've ever seen him. And I've seen one before I passed, and I regretted it, and I saw him again, picked him up. I think he only comes one in a case. And again, it's, it's the open face package, which we've been getting, like, with the uh, battle armor uh, figures that we've received, like Clobber. And he comes with the gun accessories and everything. He's got a little cowboy hat, and that's awesome. And it's got the battle call. Um, it says, voice activated play feature. Um, so that's interesting. Very cool. Looks like he lights up. Uh, so we'll we'll definitely have to check that out. Uh, artwork at the bottom, the logo, logos. Uh, we got logos, more logos, all the logos, the history of ever are on here. So yeah, there's the the battle play. There he is, looking all kinds of cool. Here's the artwork. Yep, well, that's that's pretty much it for the front side of the package. Has the Decepticons, and then it says battle call at the bottom instead of like Energon armor. And then we get some really kick-ass artwork right here of him. I really like that. That looks very, very cool. Uh, back of the package here, we have him in his vehicle mode and then his robot mode. That could really be turned into Chrome Dome, I think. I think it looks pretty cool. It says he is an intergalactic outlaw. Well, of course, he's got a little uh, pencil thin, uh, old tiny mustache. Of course he's an outlaw. Uh, but he transforms into uh, a robot in six uh, steps and then of course he's got that battle call feature so yeah again here's the back there's his vehicle mode looking pretty cool definitely digging it uh, that's 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 about it for the package let's go ahead and get wild wheel out of box and see what we think so here we have a wild wheel out of the packaging and I'm gonna have a hard time not saying wild rider uh, wild wheel and uh, this is both the most ridiculous and most awesome thing I've ever seen in my life. He's an outlaw Decepticon. I have not seen him on the show, so I don't know what the character is like. I, I just love the concept of it. The toy is very interesting, and I kind of want more. I, I really do. Now, the one thing straight out the gate after looking at pictures of the character on the interwebs uh, it looks like in the show he's got a poncho that he does not have here. Instead, he's got this kind of inner John armor that kind of looks like a cowboy's, uh, uh, you know, uh, handkerchief over the face to hide the face. So, yeah, it, it kind of works, I guess. And I initially thought this was an inner John armor figure, and it's not. Yeah, it does have some inner John armor. It doesn't flip into action. It actually has 
what's supposed to be a voice activated inner John feature. And I'll show that here in a second. Although to be honest, it doesn't work that great. And I don't know if that's it's because it's my figure or just the gimmick itself's not very good. I happen to think it's the latter. Now, looking at the accessories on the figure, he actually comes with quite a bit. I am digging that. Uh, I'm going to take off his Energon uh, bit first. So, um, come on. So, that's just on a plate with two pegs that pulls off, and then the shoulder bits do as well. And uh, here we have um, the cow bot, uh, cowboy bot. Um, Ah, his legs are not all that great. Um, there, uh, without all the inner John on there, looking very cool. I love the kind of uh, weapon sash over. Just looks awesome. He also has a cowboy hat, which is uh, very cool. I wish there was some more paint apps on it, but uh, that pops off. Um, it is literally just a cowboy hat, so um, that unto itself is cool. Um, yeah, it's just like a giant G.I. Joe cowboy hat or something. Uh, so that's kind of fun. The other gimmick I really, really like, he's got a pair of pistols because he's an outlaw Decepticon, but he's actually got holsters built into his legs for these. Um, this is something I would not expect um, in a Cyberverse figure, um, but uh, oh, damn it, that is cool. I love that. Um, even though the guns are uh, green, um, I, I, God, I love that. That And they fit so well. Now, one thing I will say, you kind of got to lean forward a bit because his feet kind of suck. I'll go over that in the um, roll around, spin around, look at the figure. But to be honest, that's probably the biggest drawback are the feet. They just, they need to be wider or something. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, his head does not move. His arms um, are on a ball socket, and they move all around like that. Elbow also on a ball socket. No swivel at uh, the waist. Legs kick up that far. They don't kick back that far because of, of the um, kibble hanging off of the back here, but they are on ball joints, and they do swivel out, and then he's got a single joint at the knee, and that's that's it as far as the articulation goes on this guy. Now, like I said, he's got this inner John voice activated play gimmick. And if you look up here on his shoulder, there's the button. You just flip it and this little red light will come on. And then when you make noise, the louder noise you make, um, it's supposed to blink. So, boo boo da da da. There you go, did you see it blink? Boo 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 da. There it goes. Yeah. So let's turn the light off and see if we can do this. And it's kind of pulsing. Transform! Wow, 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 wow. So yeah, that's that's the play gimmick. That's the, the inner John feature. Is that a good play gimmick? I don't know. Um, it doesn't seem all that great to me. Uh, and I feel like the battery's just gonna die at some point and that's just not gonna work. I don't know, they're trying something new. They're trying something different. Gotta give them credit for that. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I like the sculpt of this. I like the concept, I like the idea. He's got the pencil thin mustache that the classic Western outlaw would have. I like the Decepticon logo. The little cowboy hat's nice. I wish there was more paint apps on the hat. He's got the silver paint apps on his kind of sash. Uh, we get some silver paint apps on the trim. The back of the bot, eh, not so much. It's really just kind of open and uh, um, doesn't really work for me much. I wish the uh, car panel would flip up to kind of cover some of that junk in the back, but yeah. It is what it is, at least from the front. He looks pretty badass. Looking at the midsection of the figure, again, it's sculpted pretty okay. I don't like how thin his arms are. Those look ridiculous from the side. From the front, they're okay. I love the, um, you know, the body with the sash and the silver paint apps and the fact he has gun holsters built into his hips 
for his two little Energon pistols. I think that is phenomenal and awesome. Probably the best gimmick on the figure, to be honest. Um, but then he has this kind of butt panel that hangs off his back. Um, and again, that really should have folded up in half to cover the back. Um, you just, ah, uh, this figure's just almost so close to being really, really good and just barely misses it. And then taking a look at the figure with the inner John armor clipped on, uh, for the most part, this looks okay. I like how he's kind of masked up around the face. Um, the little wings coming off his shoulder bits look all right. Um, you know, it's not bad, it's not the greatest, and unfortunately, you can't do a lot with it in the vehicle mode. And then finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, they're sculpted okay. Um, I like the purple feet. Uh, the problem with it is the balance on this figure. You really kind of have to lean him forward to get him to stand proper because um, the, the feet, the, the toes don't come out far enough, and there's nothing in the back for a heel. Uh, which makes it balance really, really strange. And it's all just open space. And again, you've got that butt flap just hanging out there, looking all kinds of not good. For comparison, here we have a wild wheel with a Cyberverse Shark Decon. And um, I think the Shark Decon is built a little bit better. Um, my, my, one of my big gripes with this guy, he's got these really super skinny forearms. And I, I wish that was a little bit better, but uh, overall, I guess it's okay in comparison. Um, I think the play gimmicks on a Wild Wheel um, kind of outweigh the Mace Spinning uh, Sharkticon, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. And he's an Outlaw Decepticon, and that's awesome! Now, Wild Wheel uh, does uh, transform, of course. He is a transformer. Um, he has a Cybertron vehicle mode, I guess is what it is. Uh, and it's actually not too terribly bad to transform him. So we'll just go ahead and pull all these components off of him. Uh, all the bits, all the pieces. He has lots of things that clamp onto him, uh, which kind of reminds me of some of the old G1 toys. All right, so now we get them all naked in everything. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna pull the stage off, the stage stand. Um, so, okay, so to transform this guy, you're gonna lift this up like that, clamp the legs together. Um, the arms need to come up like this. The forearms need to clip away from the shoulders like that. They're gonna come around, spin them around, hide the hands. They're gonna become the sides of the uh, doors. Push this piece down. The forearms or the shoulders are going to come up and clamp into place like this. So those are going to clamp up at the top. Those bits are going to clamp there. And then you're going to swing this around and clamp that into place like that. Make sure all the bits and pieces are clamped and it's nice and out of focus. There we go, and let's kind of zoom in a little and get a better look at the uh, vehicle. So yeah, definitely a Cybertron mode. The uh, funny thing is there are no Decepticon logos on the vehicle mode. It's a pretty decent vehicle mode, I guess. Uh, I wish they would have painted some uh, silver on the wheels. I like the giant purple canopy. I think that's cool. Lots of brown, lots of brown and silver. He's a rolling turd, nothing in the back there. Uh, yeah, definitely a big rolling turd. However, something that I discovered that's not in the instructions or on the box, if you take his little winglets here, the little neon green Energon winglets, you can actually add these to the a vehicle and it gives it a little bit more to it. There we go. It gives a little bit more to the look of it, and I, I like that. I like the way that looks. Um, I think that looks awesome, and it kind of gives it a evil hot rod kind of look. Um, but yeah, definitely um, the vehicle mode, I think I think you should add the little Energon wings. It just, it brings it brings something out of it. It's not so brown. It's got some green and purple and silver in it as well. And it just looks cool, so why not? 
So is the Decepticon Outlaw Wild Wheel something that you want your Transformers collection? Well, if you're a Cyberverse fan, this is something you may want to pick up. If you like kind of niche out there Transformers, this might be something up your alley. To be honest, um, I find it very refreshing, very fun. Uh, is it the best figure? No, not at all. It misses the mark with the butt flap that should have folded up in half to cover up the back, the arms are too thin, and the feet, they're just not stable enough. Like, if they would have tooled it, instead of putting the electronic gimmick into it, they should have just made it a better figure, I think. Um, and it would have been a lot cooler. Uh, I hope we get a better version of this guy in the line, to be honest. I really like it. I like the Wild West vibe he's got. The, again, I, I've said this a lot in this video, the fact that he's got holsters built into his hips for his little Energon guns, that's fantastic. I love that concept and it works so well and kudos to the engineers for that. Um, overall, I think it's a fun figure. The only place I've seen it's Target and it sells pretty quick. So if you're interested in him and you see him, I'd go ahead and buy him. So there he is, Wild Wheel from Transformers Cyberverse. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.